Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, today is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, which kicks off the beginning of Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Uh, behind me, you see Cindy McCain, Councilwoman Deb Stark, which we appreciate you joining us today, and Mayor Stanton. Uh, Cindy and Greg will be speaking here in just a moment. But we want to thank them for their tireless work on this issue. Uh, Mrs. McCain at the state's uh, Human Trafficking Council, which I serve on as well, so I appreciate that invitation very much, but they've been doing great work. The city also got involved. We want to thank Mayor Stanton for putting together our task force and, and having the foresight to make me chair of it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, well, but I've enjoyed the work very much. I think this is going on now three years. Uh, it started sort of around the Super Bowl, but I think at the time we agreed that this was an ongoing problem, not just in Phoenix, countrywide, that, that we were not going to tolerate here in Phoenix. And so we have continued to try to do good work, which the mayor will talk about in a minute. Uh, we've certainly tried to make Phoenix as inhospitable to this kind of activity as possible. Uh, it is just unacceptable that this is such a prevalent activity and all the billboards and all the different groups that have stepped up and helped with this, we really appreciate it very much. Thank you, because this is just something we are not going to tolerate here in Phoenix. So uh, some of you may know about the opening of Starfish Place, which gives victims a chance to recover with their families. And so we're very excited about that. That was a new initiative here recently that the council voted on. So thank you, Mayor Stanton, for voting for that. Thank you, Councilman Stark, for voting for that. Uh, and we are very excited about uh, the prospects of helping people recover who have certainly had terrible experiences, many of which we have heard on, on both of our task force and councils. So without further ado, I'm going to ask uh, Mrs. McCain to come up and speak a little bit about what the state's been doing and about this important issue. And then after she speaks, Mayor Stanton will talk about what we've been doing here at the city. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> first of all, uh, I want to thank all of our media people that are here. Because every time you cover this issue, it may save a life. So I appreciate you being here. I know our victims appreciate you being here uh, in this respect. Mr. Mayor, uh, Councilman Waring, Councilman Stark, I cannot thank the City of Phoenix enough for what they have done. They have been a leader on this issue and what large communities like this should be doing can do more importantly and what we should do in the future um, for those of us that travel around the country working on this issue the city of phoenix is looked to with great esteem and with great uh, understanding that this is a no-nonsense community when, with regards to human trafficking so i want to thank the, the city and for all the work mr mayor that you and, and councilman waring have done on this issue uh, it's personal to them it's personal because they, they, like all of us in this room, do not want this scourge anywhere near our children. Um, and as far as the, the Governor's Council and the McCain Institute, which is what I represent, um, we are so proud that we have been successful, successful in, in so many ways, and primarily by helping to lead the way uh, in the country on this issue. Uh, it's a community effort, though. It's not one person. It's, a, it's absolutely a team effort, a group effort, and anyone that's involved on a day-to-day -day basis in this issue understands it. But we have a long way to go. Uh, this is still happening. It is still an epidemic. Organizations like Backpage and others still exist and are still operating freely. Uh, we have a long way to go, but I truly believe that between the city of Phoenix, the state of Arizona, we can accomplish our goal, and that is to stop child sex trafficking in the state of Arizona. Thank you, and I'm so honored to be here, and this is a great day. It's, na it's uh, the Human Trafficking Awareness Day, and of course the entire month is about the, the subject of human trafficking and, and all the good works that the folks in our blue shirts here do every day and every hour. So thank you for having me, and I appreciate you having me here today. Thank you. I'll go this way. Okay? All right. <laughs> thank you very much, Sydney McCain, <laughs> Councilman Waring. <laughs> Council will start. We do a little dance, whatever it uh, <laughs> takes. But uh, Cindy, you really mentioned it. You talked about uh, leadership, and you were very complimentary of Councilman Waring and Councilman Stark and myself. And we do appreciate those uh, kudos, although we know how much more work to do. But really, the leadership comes from you. You have taken the wonderfully unique bully pulpit and platform that you have, and you've taken it and used that in such a beautiful and wonderful direction to provide a national and truly international voice on behalf of victims. We have a long way to go, but we are a safer world because of your uh, leadership. And yes, we did start this a few years ago to make sure that we had the safest Super Bowl 
uh, possible. And if we have other big sporting events coming up, like the one we have coming up uh, in just a short period of time here, uh, the, ba the college basketball event, that we have ongoing programs, partnerships between our police department, partnerships between the hospitality uh, um, areas in our community and our wonderful nonprofits do everything we can to stop human trafficking, which particularly uh, child uh, human trafficking. And the work that you did to get the NFL to be a little more aware <laughs> and <so> proactive <laughs> on this issue. Uh, it's not an easy conversation, no, uh, probably a conversation they didn't want to have, but you forced that conversation and we very much um, uh, appreciate it. Each of us has a part that we can play, a responsibility to do everything that we can in the fight against human trafficking. And the number one thing we can do is stop thinking about human trafficking as an issue that just exists in other parts of the world or in other neighborhoods. No, it's here in the United States, in Phoenix, Arizona, and in every neighborhood. It touches uh, everyone. Anyone can be a victim of human uh, trafficking. It's not someone else's problem. It's all of our problem. And each of us have to be part of the uh, solution. So we owe a huge dedication and gratitude to Ms. McCain and Councilman Waring, Councilman Stark, our local law enforcement, so many other dedicated professionals and volunteers. Because of that, we have been blessed to become a recognized leader in ra raising awareness and a positive and a proactive response to human trafficking. So today marks another step towards our goal of ending human trafficking in our city, in our state. In 2013, I did ask Councilman Waring to lead our Phoenix Human Trafficking uh, Task Force to provide not just short-term, but more importantly, long-term uh, solutions. And that's exactly what he did. He and, and Ms. McCain led the way, creating our Compass Plan, which continues to make great strides in raising awareness and extending outreach to those impacted by human uh, trafficking. Those strides include trainings throughout our city, training for our law enforcement, and providing critical, important services to victims. The task force has also helped increase penalties in the city of Phoenix for soliciting prostitution to a mandatory booking to help send the message that it is not worth it. If you're even thinking about engaging in that, it is not worth it. Just last month, we approved the Phoenix Starfish Place, an innovative approach to provide affordable housing and support services to victims of sex uh, trafficking. Just like we need to innovate in every other area of government, we need to innovate and lead in the space of supporting and protecting victims. Uh, and that will be located in District 3 and Councilwoman Deborah Starks, so she was a great advocate for it uh, as well. In July of 2017, Star Place, Star Place, Starfish Place, excuse me, will open 15 new units at a once vacant apartment complex. So renovating and, and building up our neighborhoods while providing those important services. And that brings us to today. City of Phoenix continues to promote January as Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Very shortly, we will debut our new public service announcement, which I urge each of you to watch, repost, share on your Twitter. You have a lot of followers. I do. Yeah, so <laughs> Twitter, <trouble> Instagram, <laughs> Snapchat, whatever your um, social media is of choice, promote this video because it has a very, very important resonance. And I want to make sure that all the people of the City of Phoenix notice that their water bill, water bill will be blue uh, this month in support of awareness of, of human trafficking day and month. There will be billboards at Talking Stick Resort, Arena, Chase Field, Phoenix City Hall, and the Convention Center will be lit blue throughout this month. We have made great strides in the City of Phoenix, but we can always do uh, more. And I want to point out one more thing. Uh, that it was Cindy McCain's advocacy, direct communication with our police chief. And I think our chief, Jerry Williams, a great leader, made the right decision that as we make, um, as we make some important decisions at the police department, personnel decisions, that the vice squad remain uh, intact. So with Councilman Waring and Cindy McCain's leadership, I think our chief made the right choice because we need all the officers, as many as possible, to win this fight. Today's effort is about encouraging everyone to do more, to fight to protect children, and to help some vulnerable adults change the trajectory of their lives for the better. And I want to thank every single person for being here. Speak of the angel, uh, our chief, our chief. We were just saying nice things about you. Come on up here. Uh, I was just noting, chief, uh, your important decision that to protect the vice squad uh, and make sure we have as many officers in the fight 
uh, supporting tr uh, human trafficking uh, victims. So with that, I'm going to see first if uh, Councilwoman Stark has any words, then we'll have our chief say a few words, and then we will roll our PSA. Councilwoman, do you have any words? Just very shortly, it, it is a, a, it, with great pride that we opened this um, housing in District 3. I'm not going to tell you where it is because we need to have a little confidentiality, but it is with great pride. We are doing important work, and I want to thank Councilman Waring because he brought it to my attention. I'm fully supportive of everything he's doing, and thank you, Ms. McCain. You're just doing wonderful stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, we're very honored to have uh, Chief Williams here. We really appreciate it. Uh, we know you're new on the job, but not, of course, new to Phoenix. You've been here for, I think, 22 years before coming back to us. So nobody knows our department better, and I'm proud to introduce Chief Williams for a few remarks. First and foremost, thank you to everyone up here for forwarding this effort to the community. It, it's with great pride that I look out in the audience and I see folks in blue supporting this effort. Um, when we talk about reallocation of resources, um, it's really critically important to maintain community partnerships, especially with our most needy victims in our community. So we saw the importance of this. Uh, we had many conversations uh, with Mrs. McCain and others on the committee. So it is with great pride that we support this effort. And I guess, Mayor, when you say so, we can roll the tape. Roll the tape. Human trafficking is all around you, hiding in plain sight. In every community, men, women, and children are exploited for forced labor and commercial sex. Together, we stand as one voice against trafficking and we need your help. We can better protect the vulnerable and the voiceless by recognizing the warning signs. Join us, educate yourself and your loved ones on the dangers of human trafficking. Contact the National Hotline if you suspect trafficking or need help. If you see something, say something. It's time to put an end to human trafficking in Arizona. Well, thank you. Just a, a couple important things. Uh, again, for the chief, you know, a lot of big cities don't even have what's commonly referred to as a vice unit anymore. That was something I learned from our work on the task force and aren't focused on this issue. And if you came to our meetings and heard the discussion from victims, I think you would recognize how vitally important this is. The mayor referred to the folks at Starfish House as victims. I certainly, and I think I can speak for our entire body uh, that we see them as victims as well. Some, some would see that they're engaged perhaps in criminal activity, but please remember most of these folks got into this life not of their own volition. They were children as young as 10, 12 years old. Average age is extremely young, below the age of consent. Uh, these are not hardened criminals. These are people who need and I think deserve our city's help, and we're trying to provide that. This PSA, which we were proud to film a few months ago, is going to be airing on Channel 11 repeatedly, and we're very excited about that.